What is going on folks and welcome back to the channel. I am your host Unknown Factions and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim. And today we have a lot to do in episode 2 of the Ravenheim series. But first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing and smashing that like button so your boy can get a little promotion. Both are greatly appreciated. Now today on the itinerary we have to build a board breeder, slay Ikethir, build a smelter and a charcoal kiln, and then start gathering copper and tin baby. Yes we are moving into the bronze age, getting away from the stones and the horrible horrible club. I'm so sick of this age. I'm ready to get back to my weapons. Now first moving on to the board breeder. Now we have obviously came over to the pen and we shall raise up two planks you know, two meters apart, 10 meters high. That way we can get away from the boar breeding limit. And I am using a rehash of a rehash of a boar breeder design that APOC on our community server so kindly showed us how to build. And it works amazing. I'm doing a little different version of it. I might tighten down where the boars go eventually. But right now we're just going to make a pin with the 45 degree roofing tiles on the sides so the piglets can slide off and fall down into the pin. So this is a pretty simple board reader design and it takes hardly any materials at all to recreate. So two 45s on either side and then we're going to jump onto the bottom, throw a couple ladders to get to our snap point and then we are going to pop the 45 degree corner right there. Boom. Voila. Now we have our little slip and slide for the piglets to come down on. You know, and they can just ride their afterbirth right down into the slaughterhouse. <laughs> so now coming off the side with our little pin, you know, just going to stick one meter off, giving enough room to hopefully that the adult boars tail ends will get stuck down in there. You know, you can always push them around. You can make this a little longer and go down one with the 45 degree angle boards. This is another way to do it. Yeah, I still, I'm going to do something a little different. I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, we're just going to make a little pin up here. And we're going to leave a permanent set of stairs on these because these do require finagling at times. You have to come up here, move them around, knock piglets out. So instead of having to build a set of stairs every time to push a boar up there if you need to after a raid, we're just going to leave a permanent set of stairs. And I'll do something else about this pin down here eventually. This is still just the day one pin. But now we have to get Boris's stubborn tail up there into the braider. Now these two stars are particularly more stubborn than the no stars. Now they almost have enough force to push back like, and leave you at a standstill. So, you know, you have to do a little finagling. It might take you a little time to get up there. Don't forget that you can always just throw fencing down behind them as you slowly get them up there. So you don't lose any space if he like slips off and goes to the side because they want to so bad. They do not want to get in the braiders. Well, sometimes you can coax them up a little bit, but you can never get them up all the way. I mean, unless you have like an escape route up there, because the AI is looking for a way out. You know, so I mean, there's there's probably something there. You might be able to figure it out. But after you mash your piggies up there into your little pin, you're going to want to put up a little backboard so you can bounce food off of and put a little stopper down there to keep it from rolling off the roof. And there you have it. There's your breeder. And now, of course, our female needs another Russian name. We shall name her Natalia. We have Natalia and Boris Borovich from Russia. These are fine Russian pigs for the Ravens. The only the best. <laughs> so now there you go. We have our first boar breeder of the season. So we need to go get prep for Ike there. So usually I would only just take in a couple meats. I thankfully have some yellow mushrooms from already going into the burial chamber. So we'll take that for stamina and we'll have a nice good mixture to go in there. And I would usually only take just a torch like I was saying, and that's all you really need, just to light them on fire and club them. But since I have the materials to make fire arrows, I went ahead and just made a bunch. So me and V made our way over there to wait for Smitty and Christy to eventually arrive. But we waited, and we waited, and we waited a little longer. Two very boring minutes later. They did arrive, and we gave Smitty a fine last meal to enjoy before being sacrificed to Ikethir. <laughs> just playing of course we sacrificed the two or two or three whatever uh i think it's two deer and deer trophies onto the <laughs> altar to summon him but it was a good fight we fought for about i don't know i don't know probably five minutes it didn't take very long i was i wasn't sure on everybody's like combat skills so you know i was just gonna play it by ear see how it went 
you know, and I did forget that I had fire arrows and it was like halfway through the fight. I'm like, oh yeah, what am I doing? I have a bow with fire arrows. Let's go ahead and just uh, lay it down on this fool real quick. He resisted and he resisted, but in the end, he did fall. To us mighty ravens. Boom, and there we have it. First boss down, out of the way. Next, Elder, I'm coming for your neck, son. And somehow I did pick up all three pieces of the hard antler. So we can go ahead. I just went ahead and divvied those up to everybody because we need to go ahead and get our bronze going. We're going to need a lot, probably 60 plus pieces to be able to get, you know, full plus armor, shield, sword, axe, pickaxe, you know, the works. Because we will need it for the swamps. You don't particularly need it for the elder. You know, you just need the good fine wood bow and you can take him down no problem but now coming back to the spawn area we went ahead and as you see and hung the trophy got our buff and headed into some more chambers that way we can get us five more certling cores to build the smelter and the kiln that we needed and i was so lucky enough to stumble into one and i got six in this quick raid right here so it worked out perfectly and some beautiful amber pearls and ruby to add to the bounty Need to still get a mule, mule and forward or whatever the belt's called. I forget. Something crazy Norse like that. But gathering up our 40 stone and coming over here and slapping our kiln and smelter down right on this little flat spot I made out front. If you can't see, I raised up a little wall right here to kind of keep the bad guys out. And keep the boogeyman away at night. You know what I mean? Boom. You know, Hugin keeping me company. People turn him off. You know, he's my, he's my buddy. I don't ever talk to him, but uh, he just hangs out, you know. If I talk to him, he goes away, and then I'm lonely again. You know, I just leave him here. <laughs> just playing, y'all. Oh, let's see, he's back. See, he can't get enough of me. I love this guy. But as you can see, we got the, we got our kiln and our smelter going full blast, cranking out all the copper and tin that I had, so we can take these ingots and bring over and make our forge. Now, first things we got to get going. We're gonna need some carts. Me and V were in desperate need of carts. We got these builds going. Got to be able to transport materials. I mean, hauling it back one inventory load at a time is a pain in the rear. So, I went ahead and crafted us up a ton of nails. I forgot. I think I forgot to tell everybody there was nails in here so they could make carts. I'm a horrible person. Sorry, fellas. I know y'all are watching this now. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to make a cart return area. That's going to one thing I'm going to do out there. A nice like shopping cart return area where people can... Like community carts if people need to use them. Boom. But here we go. I have, This is all the copper, like I said, from day one. I think I had enough to make six pieces. You know, it wasn't a terrible amount of bronze, but, you know, it was enough to get the job done. But after having everything crafted up, I went ahead and got my cart, and it was time to get a move on and head to the Black Forest, which was a good hike away. And if you haven't used a lot of these carts, they are such garbage. I mean, they really, they get destroyed on everything. You have to keep repairing them. You know, and I stopped for like two seconds to repair, and I was like, oh, turn around, there's a rock getting tossed at me, and the 20-foot troll chasing me down it. Right before I even got to the Black Forest, I was like, all right, this fool has to die. I'm like, no more games. You're done, son. So I gave him the old rope-a-dope and slipped him around into the trees. <laughs> you know, that way he couldn't get me. You know, you can really mess up the troll's AI. Kind of just sidestepping around through all the thick trees in the meadows. You know, you can get him real twisted up. He won't know which way to go. I'm just sit there and light him up and light him up. And boom. He's done, son. That's a wrap. Get this fool out of here. I'm so sick of you, Graylings. I'm going to make a compilation video of every way you can murder a Grayling. And just straight torture him for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but as you see, first troll of the season, done. Because, you know, I didn't kill that troll I mined with. He killed me, if you don't remember how that went. <laughs> but now, heading back to the ore I had already tagged, we got a nice little hefty uh, ore vein right here. Not including what's underneath the ground, if you didn't know. You can go down a little bit, and there's usually another ore right underneath it. Boom. And this is a good spot, too. You know, and all the noise it attracts. It gets so troublesome mining for a while because you just get swarms of mobs and mobs. And as you can see, the sun's going down right now. So we will make the most of it. We will crack this axe. I will mine till it breaks, load up, and head out. And on the way back, just realizing how much deforestation is happening over this was a nice wooded area al gore would be pissed right now if you see this I mean, we're gonna have to replant trees i'm sorry all you hippies watching right now don't worry we shall replant for every tree we cut we shall plant two on my honor boy scouts hold my fingers up <laughs> 
but boom, we have returned with all the goods. Now I'm just going to back this up like that and leave it right here. That way I don't have to unload a bunch of ore into the house and keep running it back and forth. Let's work smarter, not harder, and club some graylings. Why would I edit? Die, fool. Ugh. All right, let's grab some of this. Boom. Now we have a running refinery. I have also volunteered my services to make the community refinery build. I have a half-concocted idea, something I was working on on my previous server that I gave up. But now it is time to bring this idea back to life, and I will make it beautiful for you guys. So subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, go check out these other Ravenheim content creators. I mean, what are you doing with yourself? I appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will catch you in the next one.